Okay, first things first. Do you like pain, misery, and lubeless sodomy? You do? Well, Escape from Tarkov might just be for you. What's up guys, it's Average Owl making average content for the average viewer and today I want to answer the question, is Escape from Tarkov worth it in 2022? Now look, I'll be honest with you, the too long didn't read of this is honestly, Escape from Tarkov is one of the best bangs for your buck you can get in gaming. This game is so rich with content that it has kept me entertained for longer than when I first discovered the hub. That being said, there are quite a few caveats that I will mention in this video. If you do enjoy this content, a like rating is very much appreciated and if you want to see more Tarkov videos and videos on everything FPS, then make sure you subscribe. So, let's get this out of the way. What is Escape from Tarkov? Well, the development team behind the game, Battlestate Games, describe it as a hardcore, story-driven MMO featuring elements of FPS and RPG unlike the casual shooters. And if that sounds very complicated to you, well, to be honest, that's because the game is. Escape from Tarkov is so god damn complicated and intricate and deep on so many levels that it does take a long time to learn. For those of you who aren't aware, I'll just explain basically how the gameplay loop works. The game essentially revolves around high value loot. You have to go into raids and find this loot and extract with it and you can either sell it or use it for tasks or if you find armor or guns etc you can take them into the next raid with you. However, whatever guns, whatever helmets, whatever rigs, whatever backpacks, whatever armor you bring into any given and raid with you, if you die, you will lose that gear. What this means is that every single engagement you have really does feel like, like, well, fucking life or death. Literally every time you see a person, your fight or flight will kick in. And at first, you will be very scared and you will want to run away and that's okay. But as you get better at the game, you'll be able to engage with these players. And then when you kill them, not only will you have that sudden rush of dopamine and excitement that you can't get from any other game, but also you'll be able to approach that dead body and pick their corpse clean of all of the gear that they have worked very hard to either find in the raid or brought in with them. This is how Escape from Tarkov works. Now look, because this game has such brutal mechanics and because there are such high stakes, what this means is if you're not prepared for this sort of game, you might not find it to your taste. For me personally, I bought this game about 18 months ago and I think overall I've played it for about 130 hours and I've only just began to feel like I'm just getting into it and getting into my stride. Now, as you can probably tell by whatever gameplay I've got playing in the background, I'm still absolutely shit at this game. I am absolutely god awful however the thing is when you put in that time and you do get to a point where you can kill other people honestly there is no other game that i have found as gratifying as escape from tarkov now as well as the looting and the shooting there are some other mechanics within this game that can almost be associated with like a survival game you have to eat you have to drink you don't just have one health bar you've got seven you've got a health bar for your left arm your right arm your left leg your right leg your thorax your stomach your head and all of these things have to be maintained within the raid so you have to take meds in with you. If you get shot too much in your arm, it might get blacked out. Therefore, you won't be able to aim properly. So you'll have to do surgery to repair it. And if you get shot too much in your leg and that gets blacked out, then you'll be limping everywhere. And unless you take painkillers to relieve that pain or you repair that leg. All of these things have to be thought about and maintained in extremely high stress situations that honestly aren't going to be for everyone. Look, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that every single person should play Escape from Tarkov because the reality of that is not every single person is going to enjoy this game. If you're used to playing sort of battle royales and you like that sort of high intensity but you're looking for something deeper, then yes, Escape from Tarkov is 100% going to be for you. Just don't expect to be able to jump into the game and start getting like five, six, seven kill raids like you're used to in Warzone or Fortnite because this style of game is so much different and so much harder. The recoil on the guns is absolutely immense and it will take you ages to be able to learn it and control it properly. Your character moves with such weight and when you have more loot in your bag, then you're going to be making more noise, which makes you easily identified by other players. And on top of this, if you've got a massive gun and then loads of shit in your bag, then you're going to be moving really slow and you're going to peak corners slower and you're not going to be able to run as far. So sometimes if you're expecting a gunfight, you have to drop your bag and come back for it later in order to be able to move fast enough so that you're actually going to win the gunfight. All of these things need to be thought about at all times and it will take you ages before you are actually proficient at this game. Like I said, I myself am no way near that. I rely on playing with friends who are really good at the game and that's another thing. If you're playing this game on your own, I'm not going to be around the bush 
It's fucking terrifying. I've played Outlast 2, I've played Resident Evil, I've played loads of horror games, and nothing sends shivers up my spine than hearing a little bush rustle in the background whilst I'm hopelessly looting and trying to find a key that I need for a quest. Escape from Tarkov is full of these tense moments, and in the first few hours, maybe even the first 30 to 40 hours, you will spend the majority of that time just shitting yourself, basically. Sat in a bush, fucking shitting yourself, asking yourself, why the hell did I even buy this game? Now, I know that it sounds like I'm trying to put you off, and that is because honestly, this game is a big commitment. If you want to spend the money on this game, then you're going to have to put in quite a lot of time and quite a lot of effort into learning this game. For example, each of the maps within Escape from Tarkov, well, there isn't a map in game, so you'll have to either find a map online or go into an offline raid and work out where your extractions are, work out where your tasks are, work out where all the best loot is. All of this takes time, and if you don't have time and you're just the sort of gamer who wants to come home and sit down for an hour after work every day, then I have to say to you that maybe Escape from Tarkov isn't for you. However, what I will say is, no game that I have ever played even comes close to the gratification of actually having a successful raid in Escape from Tarkov. And the thing is, even if you're not good at PvP, even if you're not proficient with the weapons in this game, just finding some awesome loot or a thing that you need for a quest and sneaking your way through the map, avoiding all contact at all costs, is so rewarding when you finally get out that raid and your heart's pumping. It's honestly unrivaled in the gaming space in terms of that intensity and that risk versus reward gameplay. Now, I do just want to quickly talk about the price point. Escape from Tarkov comes in a number of tiers, starting from about £30 and ending at about £120. The only difference with these versions is, as you go up the ranks and as you pay more money, you'll have increased stash space, meaning that you'll be able to keep more weapons and more stuff off raid. And also when you buy the Edge of Darkness edition, which is the highest tier available, you'll get a larger secure container. For those of you who don't know, the secure container is a little pouch that you'll have on you at all times that whatever you put within in that pouch cannot be lost if you die. So this is good for keys, meds, and anything valuable that you find in the raid. Now, when I first bought this game, I bought the cheapest edition, and I honestly don't regret doing that. The thing is, I didn't really start playing this game properly for a long, long time. I sort of dabbled for a month here and a month there until I really got to grips with the game, which by the way, I still haven't really, but I'm at a point now where I'm really enjoying it. Now, what I did is I then upgraded to the highest tier, and you only have to pay the difference. For example, if you bought the 30 pound one, and then you want to upgrade to the £110, you only have to pay the difference of what? £80. You don't have to then spend the whole amount again, which is really good because it means that if you spend the £30, which although it is a lot of money to some people, it's not the same as dropping £120 or £110 on a game. That means that you haven't really lost as much. However, if you do find that you really get into this game, you'll be able to upgrade for no extra cost later down the line. Now, one thing that I do want to talk about is the wipe cycle of Escape from Tarkov. Basically, in Escape from Tarkov, every six months or so, the developers completely wipe the game. This is mainly because the game is still in beta, so they are constantly tweaking things and adding things and adding updates, new maps, etc. This means that if you bought the game now, for example, where we are about a month into a wipe, you'll have this wipe to absolutely learn everything and nail everything down and get to grips with Escape from Tarkov. And then come, say, June or July, the game will wipe and everyone will start from zero on a level playing field. Everyone's stash gets emptied. Everyone's stats get reset. Everyone's tasks get reset. You have everyone's skills get reset. And then everyone will be on a level playing field once again. This is amazing for new players because it means that Although the wipe has already started at the moment, you'll be able to learn the game and get to grips with it, and then when it wipes in June or July, you'll be able to play the game without feeling like everyone is super massive and super geared compared to you. Compared to other games, if you started playing another game after, say, four or five years of it being released, what this means is that everyone you ran into would be like level 500 or level 1000, and everyone would have the best shit, and you'd just constantly get shat on. And whereas that is the case in Escape from Tarkov if you start playing in the late wipe, if you use that time to get to grips with the game, then by the time the next wipe comes, you'll be in a really good place to actually start from scratch and have really good fun leveling up at the same rate as every single person. Look, I know that this video is going on a little 
little bit and honestly I haven't even scratched the surface of what Escape from Tarkov is. But the main point I want to drive home to you guys is if you are interested in playing this game and you feel like you have the time and you have the patience to play it then I really really would suggest it. It is so much fun and I really can't think of a better way to spend 30 quid when it comes to gaming. If you do like that high intensity risk versus reward brutal game mechanic hardcore shooter and you like rpgs and mmos and you enjoy collecting things and getting tasks done and intense pvp then escape from tarkov very well might be the game for you just make sure that you prepare yourself for what will literally be the most intense learning curve you will ever experience in gaming seriously this game is going to take a lot of effort from you but that effort once you put it in is going to pay dividends in the end and you'll have a really fun enjoyable experience playing this game but anyway that's about it for this little video. I really hope it helped you guys answer, is Escape from Tarkov worth it in 2022? If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you subscribe. And for those of you who have watched this channel for a while, you'll know that I love to see who sticks around until the end. So if you're still here, I'd like you to let me know by answering this question down in the comments. Would you rather have no lips or no eyelids? Anyway, that's it from me today. I'm Average Joel. Peace.